So let's get into some manga cells right now. So I can make that the start of the clip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I will say one thing. Um, for some reason this month, uh, it looks like the manga sales for Weekly Shonen Jump uh, will be coming out, updating on Fridays. We record on Thursdays, just a bad timing sort of situation there. So I'll be recording a little extra tidbit for the Weekly Shonen Jump sales, and so I can so we can give you guys complete up-to-date on how they're doing. You know, I have some sales numbers in front of me right here, but they are uh, a week old now. By the time I, we this episode be posted, they'll be out of date. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that right here with a nice edit. Swoosh, edit, swoosh, transition. Oof. Yeah, whoosh. Put it in right here. Shoosh. Hello. It's time for manga sales for our weekly Shonen Jump August volumes that we have been tracking. This update that I'm giving you is for 8.15. Uh, what we got going on is My Hero Academia volume 31 has 533k copies sold. Dr. Stone volume 22, 190k copies sold. Mashal volume 7, 112k copies sold. Elusive Samurai volume 2, 71 copies sold. 71k copy sold pretty solid there blue box volume one 52k now i do want to stress that blue box volume one has had uh, some sellout issues they had limited prints and they are starting to get issue you know the volumes back into stores so you should see those numbers rise up over these next couple of weeks i would safely assume i know that even the author commented on that as well uh, so i'm looking forward to seeing how those numbers increase ayakashi triangle volume 5 57k sold uh magu chan volume 5 candy flurry volume 1 and ball parade volume 2 all are now unranked the last updates that we had on those was 7.5k for magu chan 6k for candy flurry and 2.9k for uh, Ball Parade. But like I said, those are all unranked. Um, looking forward to seeing what Blue Box will do over the next like couple weeks as we start to get you know prints back in and everything. And, uh, you know, shout out to Lucy Samurai as well with 71K currently. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's going to be another one. I just like volume one. I think it's going to top off over 100K uh, copies sold. So that's pretty solid. Uh, no update on the uh, Weekly Shonen Magazine uh, volumes for that we're about to start tracking. I know that's I mentioned it's got uh, Blue Box. I mean, I'm not Blue Box. Uh, Blue Lock. Uh, it has uh, Shangri-La Frontier, um, Ace of the Diamond Part 2. I know those are some that are in there for sure. Um, but we have not, we don't have the sales numbers on those just yet. They are just now dropped as of a few, like I think the 17th is when they drop. So look forward to seeing those sales numbers probably next week on, and, uh, we'll start tracking it on the next episode of anime plus. All right. Shoosh back to the, uh, back to the rest of the show. All right, we're back. Cool. All right, so uh, I will give the final update for the Weekly Shonen Magazine newest volumes that has come out. We now are about to check out the newest bunch, which may be in that manga sales update I just swooshed in there. Um, so the final update, this is for August 8th. This is Tokyo Avengers Volume 23, 583K. Ace of Diamond Part 2 Volume 27, 153K. A couple Cuckoos Volume 7. Um, 127k and Eden Zero Volume 16 43k. That's gonna be the final update for those volumes that we're gonna be tracking. I didn't see everything that's in this new bunch, but I know like Blue Locks in there. I think another uh, Shangri La Frontiers in there. I think actually another volume of Ace of the, Ace of the Diamonds in there as well. So looking forward to seeing all the sales on that, especially Blue Lock. Looking forward to see that. Uh, I do have what is the top five in Japan right now. Uh, this is the for ending in 816. My Hero Academia Volume 31, we already knew that. Dr. Jump Volume 22, we knew that as well. Do uh, Dragon Ball Super Volume 16, that's coming at number three. Grand Blue Volume 17, coming at number four. Mashal Volume 7, coming at number five, we knew that one. Here's a little fun fact for you. Dan to Dan Volume 1, that series that we just mentioned earlier, that uh, the English version is about to drop on Monday, uh, that's that actually came in at number nine right now in total sales over in Japan, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, what do we have to look forward to in terms of Weekly Shonen Jump? Let's see, vol Issue 38, Mashal's going to be on the cover, a great cover love that where he's trying to grind for his finals because of how behind he is uh so color pages for select one days and ayukashi triangle a couple of notable things about this is a uh, high school family is dead last and candy flurry is second to last i'm expecting both of those to be axed at some point uh, at least Candy. I, I really expect Candy to be axed at some point in time here in the near future. Uh, and then for issue 39, Elusive Samurai gets the cover. That is the third fucking Woo. cover in under 30, 30 fucking chapters. That's, yep. ins that's insane. That is absolutely insane, man. Elusive Samurai is popping off right now. Uh, and then we do have color pages for 
Mission Yet Decor Family, pumped for that one. And Blue Box, another series that's popping off. You know, that's something else to watch is are we going to get a, a third Blue Box cover here in the next, you know, f- you know, five to ten weeks? Can only hope. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, Lusa Samurai getting its third cover already. Man, this thing is set up to be a just a star for Weekly Shonen Jump for sure. Uh- <laughs>